I'm numbed to all the depravities I conduct on a daily basis, but... Boring sex. Look at his face. That's a new fetish entirely. Hey, Weaves here. We're jumping past basically all of Act 2 and have now arrived at the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. Quick recap of the stuff I didn't record because I didn't actually plan this as a YouTube series in advance. Olsen's dead because I fucked up and I'm owning my terrible decisions on this playthrough. Jahir is dead because I thought I could resurrect her with a scroll. I cannot. Also Withers bugged out so he didn't actually tell me that he could bring people back. I let Shadowheart choose her own path during her quest and she chose to save the Night Song. That's fine. That's fine. But it kind of makes a mess of my attempt at an evil-ish playthrough. Will is gone because I decided to save his story for a romance playthrough. So I just blasted straight through the bit where the game said, uh, you should probably do this quest. Welcome to Act 3. I've given Astarian some better clothing. Look at this. The front's awful. The back I like though. Because it perfectly fits his like scarring. Which I know is kind of dark. Although, despite it looking like, oh, this is designed for him, like his ass kind of hangs out. And it's not part of the design. Like, it's just a weird thing about the model. Like, Astarian has too much ass for this I'm outfit. Listening. No, we're not talking. In fact, all his whole body is slightly too big for this outfit. You can see it clipping through. Look at that! What is that? Put everyone in their slutty little outfits. Look at this. This is so nice. That's okay. Like, I had a lot of trouble finding a color that works on Lazel. It's not just straight black, but I like this. And Shadowheart, I do not like Shadowheart's hair now that it's white. Like, she looked good in black. I think because they haven't changed her eyeshadow, so it just looks weird. But I've given her like a reasonably normal, but also kind of cool outfit. Gotten too big and strong due to leveling up. He's so weak. Oh, I respect Shadowheart, so she's slightly less awful now. Like, she might actually be able to hit things, although I did it kind of by accident. We did already have a tumble with the male drow, and that was free, but I think they wouldn't mind if I go off with a female drow as well and see that, because that, like, I fucking laughed my ass off with the first one. Maybe I'll do it again. They are brother and sister, and you can do them together, but only if you have a partner, I think. I couldn't, because Astarian is in his... I'm thinking about consent and bodily autonomy and what I actually want to do with my life phase, so he's not doing sex. And then he gets all concerned, like, oh, you go ahead. I hope it's not because we haven't in a while, though. And I'm like, oh, he's slightly concerned, oh. No, Astarian, it's not that. It's free. There is nothing I haven't done. And nothing I won't do. Clients usually choose me over my sister when they're looking for a man of extremes. Hmm. Instructed me in vices I haven't even heard of. Being troublesome, I went with the first option. Because he's all like, oh, we're looking for extremes. I'm like, we are going to do missionary with the lights off. A wicked gleam lights up his eye. Far more sinful than any you witnessed before. Oh, you filthy thing. You have surprised me. Look at his Most smile. Come in here with... Let me stuff all of your hair into my favorite orifice, or I can't come unless you use your deep gnome voice. <laughs> I'm numbed to all the depravities I conduct on a daily basis, but... Boring sex. Look at his face. That's a new fetish entirely. The way they've animated his mouth as well, it's just so good. He looks like he's actually super into it. And they didn't even face cap this game as far as I'm aware. I know the main actors, they didn't do face capture. Props to the animators for that. But yeah, then it's either, let's do it like we've been married 10 years. Or, let's make love like unschooled virgins. Married 10 years, we're doing it boring. Fade to In black. In the darkness, he instinctively caresses your neck before <laughs> realizing he must do worse. He squeezes your rear with a limp grasp. <laughs> Kitten, be bad for me. Be bad at sex. <laughs> Who wrote this? It's amazing. Take off your clothes clumsily, tripping sensually over your socks. Please, socks don't even exist in this game. Or lie motionless on the bed, expending no effort. Rooster hating. <laughs> 
three, I haven't had a bath in a ten day. Or four, I'm too tired to do anything tonight. Let's just go to sleep. Lime motion is expending no effort. Dead fish time. I will do my best not to last more than two minutes for you, dearest. <laughs> he knows. You engage in a tepid night of the most memorable, unremarkable sex. The drow seems to have the time of his life. Look at him so satisfied. Give me a moment for pity's sake. You've exhausted me already. Abuse use protraction. Tadpoles, probably. Yeah, that is one thing they've not actually mentioned here. Because there's a whole thing about, like, consent and bodily autonomy and whatever. And, like, when you talk to the, the drow, like, there's a whole, um, dialogue tree you can go down, which is like, are you okay here? You're doing this because you want to, right? Not because you have to. But yeah, no talk about protection. Maybe they didn't want to go down the rabbit hole of, like, what do condoms look like? Maybe I could actually hire his sister? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. A Don't moment? Be shy. Yeah, so I think this is... I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces craved the body of a drow like a drug. Yeah, so you'd be like, oh, as long as you're here of your own free will. Life is prosperous. I'm much happier kissing the many lips of the surface than tending a field or manning a shop. I mean, that sounds pretty reasonable. Maybe I would like to share it with you then. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. No, we already did it, Soren. Piss off. You two look uncannily alike. We are twins. You don't actually lie with one another, do you? Or you can be like, eww! Well, I'm certainly not hiring both of you at once. Yeah, I mean, like, animals have guts, right? Isn't that what lambskin condoms are? I'm suddenly realizing I've never actually thought about the body part of a lambskin. Yes, I would like to hire your services, my lady. Enjoy yourself, of course. Uh, but I dearly hope you aren't only having sex because we haven't in a while. Aww. If your beloved one wants to join, we could work out something to our mutual satisfaction. No, he's not into it. <clears throat> Sorry, pet. I'm, I'm not quite comfortable with doing this again yet. Yeah, fine. Don't worry. I wouldn't ask such a thing of you. <sighs> oh, don't be so nice to me. It makes me want to be nice back. Oh, I got an approval. And that's it. Like, I can't do the thing I want to do, so... Excuse me. Be somewhere else. Alright. Have fun. I'm busy. We've been pretty busy and done a lot of kills, so... Maybe we do deserve a weird little non-simultaneous twin shag. Goodbye, boyfriend! And friends, I'm off. I'm getting laid. See you later. I assume this one will also fade to black. You came. Not yet. At least, you can never tell who's going to get cold feet. Maybe this isn't for me. Or can we draw some boundaries first? You start. Look how healthy this is. What are your boundaries, Miss Prostitute? Well, I should admit to you first that I'm not capable of being as extreme as some might expect. What about you? Don't tell anyone I was here. I have a reputation to preserve. I mean, I'm a bard. Do we not just want to sing it out to the world? No secrets. Describe your limits and concerns and just sort of leave it at that. I mean, this seems healthy, so I'm going to go with number four. Thanks for confiding in me. I won't do that. What do you mean, a chance to be embraced in the dark? When did someone say that? It might have been earlier. It's all part of the experience. Um, the room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. Also, we're not going to animate this scene. There's no judgment in darkness. No shame. Just the sensation of two bodies together in the moment. Mm, well, I'm paying for a service, so let's just go with my senses are yours to command. 
Show me your expertise. Her lips meet yours and you feel your body flush with heat, racing through your limbs, followed by the dancing tingle of her cold fingers. It's like being touched by me. Who doesn't like cold fingers? Now, with the dude, like if you pick the uh, like extreme options, or at least the options that aren't, let's have bad sex, then it's... You feel lots of tiny little pinpricks all over you, and then you wake up and like the bed is full of spiders. It's like, uh, why? This is like kind of boring. You ease your body into the sensation, noticing every tingle and thrill as heat and cold pressure and pleasure skitter across your nerves. Wow. Someone's enjoying themselves. I wonder if they deliberately made the woman kind of boring because they figured like, oh, well, more dudes will choose that. Let's make the less chosen one weird. All right. So what I'm supposed to be doing is talking to this guy about... He had kind of an argument with Raphael like right before I went in. Oh, which was basically Raphael going, I know something about freeing him. And Kithrak, I think, refused to take the deal. So... Now I've made a deal in which I'm going to give the controlly crown to Raphael, which is a terrible idea, as everyone is telling me. So here we are. Voss, friend to the comet. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Oh, he wants Tell me to. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Deception. There's no need to do deception here. So I'm not going to. I'll just show him, I guess, and hopefully he won't like nobble me in the face to take it. The hammer. How can it be that you? came to possess it. Oh. Was it Raphael? The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Gith's son will soon ride against Flakith, Voss, and I will follow him into battle. Vinisk, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the Astral Prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. Let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Yeah. I forgot about that. Because the Emperor is the guy who's been helping me, like, not get tadpoled. And we went off and we helped him a bit and we saw Prince Orpheus. And I forgot that Raphael, while we were... Making the deal, he blocked the Mind Flayer tadpole so that the Emperor couldn't see this. So yeah, I guess he knows about it now. The Emperor is using Prince Orpheus to try and combat the Absolute. And I'm like, can we not do both? And he's like, no! So no, I'm gonna go, is there any way I can convince you? No, there is not. <sighs> well, I guess we're not friends anymore, bitch. You seem to be lost in thought. Orpheus sends the tadpole before and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? Raphael kind of dismissed this. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaich. He will see reason. Do you know him? How old are you? Oh! He's already given us a sword. Interesting. Highest grade of weapon in Githyanki custom. He left to prepare for the revolution that will follow Orpheus's deliverance. You receive Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. Gith born psionic weapon. When wielded by Githyanki, this weapon heals additional damage. Githyanki holding this has advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Resistance to psychic damage and cannot be charmed. And it's two handed, so I can give it to Lazel. Like, it's good, but I really like my singing sword. Whoa, look at that. That's a Fuck off, big sword. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. Everyone I bleed with a sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. Like two days ago, Lazel, you were all about serving Vlakith. The Quanith alerted us to the hunters. It is as we knew. Our people have turned their blades against us. They will emerge from the shadows and descend from the skies. And we will grant them their only just fate. Death. But admittedly, Vlakith did try and kill her, so... Alright, sword's fine, but I prefer a lavish life in Tunarath, which I don't even know what this means. I've learned of your kind. <gasps> the decadent and the indolent of Tunarath. 
They gaze on our people's great works, but can't grasp their beauty. They will never understand the ecstasy of our hymns or the fury of our citadels. I want more for myself than to languish. I want to battle. I want to bleed. I got some prostitutes downstairs that could do that for you right now. Stop looking at me. Look at him. Stop it. Everyone is like, oh my god, Gortash is so amazing. We know that he's one of the people that's about to march on Baldur's Gate and kill everyone. Or, sorry, enslave everybody by putting tadpoles in them. So yeah, there's gonna be a whole Gortash plot line where people are praising him. I'm like, no, he's evil. This is the building I haven't been in. Time to do a show. I'm trying to draw these people away so you can do a sneaky sneak lockpick. Frumpy hat. There's something with a frumpy explorer who keeps lots of cats. Put that on Gale. Well, that was kind of disappointing. They throw money as well, look at that. Like, yay, I played the drum for five minutes. Here's seven gold. Sorry, eight gold. Oh, someone else threw some nine gold. It's a nice touch. Yeah, give me those coins. I have 10,000 gold in my pockets and more. Like, I personally have 10,000 gold. And he's got 1,000. She's got seven. And another five. We've got 24, 25,000 gold between us. And, the... and I'm like, I will play in the streets and get seven gold. Fart into a trumpet if you do it well enough. I mean, technically, right? Trumpet playing is just like farting. Because they're going... Because that's how trumpets work. I played a trumpet once. I didn't. I mean, I did, but it just sounded like that. I don't know any other way to get in here, so I guess I am going to talk to this guard. Oh! <gasps> we can change our appearance! Does Shadowheart have a thing where she can change everyone's, or is it just hers? I gave her so many healing spells. I may have taken all her disguise stuff away. Oh, here we go! Scroll of Seeming! We'll start this disguise out here. How long does it last? Hopefully it just lasts until something happens. Where the fuck is Lazelle? Oh, there she is. That seems like a lot. Alright, you've got a white afro. You're a tiny gnome with a very hairy chest. Same, I picked you. Oh. All right, I'm gonna redo that just in case it doesn't work on Lazel because I'm not having this fuck up because of that. Seeming last eight hours. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just, I was thinking it might, if it doesn't say it might be till long rest slash end of battle. She must not have been willing. Hmm. But if she's unwilling, she's unwilling. So we'll give it a go. We'll give it another go. I don't think her charisma is great though. I might check she doesn't have like some gear or something stopping it. Can't last critical hits, that's fine. Flash melter, fine. Disadvantage on stealth. I don't know if this counts as stealth, but maybe we'll take that off just in case. Right, I think I probably just missed clicking on her. What do we have? We have a Starry and the Tiefling. We have Shadowheart the dude. And we have Lazelle, the angry elf dude. And I... Oh good, we're drow! Or I'm a drow, that's going to help. How much farther can I go? I'm sure they're going to love two drow. What, what, what does it feel like? A tiefling and a human... In a word, sir. Just like rocking up. No, they can also allegedly sense our tadpoles, so maybe this won't work. Where are the shot? Let me in. Sorry chum, can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. I have an invitation. See this? I've been invited. Won't be. You don't look the posh sort. Yeah, with all these fucking veins Last in my face. Door on the right. Go on. Make merry. Yeah. Lower the gates. 
Special permission. Yes. I don't know. I fought someone and I, I managed to lose an invitation off their corpse. I forget who it was. I'll give it a shot. No, don't close the door. Don't no, close the door. Close the fucking door, didn't she? Halt. Uh oh. We do not know how you gained Damn entry, it. but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. 